Hello everyone, it's Bubonic Zombie. Welcome back to Fairy Tale Mysteries, The Puppet Thief. Now, in the last episode, we were able to cut down the man that was hanging in the shop. And we found out that he is actually a master puppeteer who is also very gifted in magic. Unfortunately, the puppet thief was able to recapture him. And he actually spoke to us, pretty much telling us that we're going to be the next victims. The brothers Grimm told us and they told us in person they were here that we were on our own so if you guys are wondering also what happened to the silver magician and his daughter who was hanging outside he did battle with the puppet thief unfortunately the puppet thief was much more powerful than he was and so right now brothers Grimm are taking care of him but you catch all that in the last episode because right now we just I have just unlocked this back room here, and let's see where it leads. Okay. There's a skull. It's too hot, I'll burn my hands, and the oven mitt is unable to be used. Wondering why is there a skull in there? Oh, this door is magically sealed. There's a crystal? No, okay. So it has like the glow of a hidden object scene, but it's not. Let's see. The key to open this. We have a. Oh, there's a letter. Let's see. It appears as though this man has been searching for the source of. Okay, let me read the letter first. The experiments have shown my experiments have shown that each colored crystal has its own unique effect. I should be careful. A powerful enough curse or spell could drain a crystal completely. Blue. The blue crystal to have the blue crystal to have the ability to reverse the adverse effects of curses. A powerful tool sh should I be captured by the puppet thief. That explains why uh, when he was captured he dropped um, a blue crystal. Green. The green crystal appears to dispel protective magics or even create them. If manipulated correctly, I should be able to get past the puppet thief's defenses. Violet. Though I do not possess it, my text suggests that violet crystals. Violet crystal is one of the is one of soul trapping. I'm curious if this puppet thief is using its power to steal the life of our town's children. Now over here is our little commentary. It appears as though this man has been searching for the source of this evil with little success until now. He mentioned crystals. They must be the source of magic that will end this dark curse and free everyone. Okay. That and we have a desk key. We have the other part of the lion head. So now we can get through that gate. I haven't gone to this side of the room. Oh, there's something. Okay. Water valve instructions. Okay, so we have A, B, C, D, E. Okay. Water valve instructions. Pull the valves in the following order to lower the water level in the main sewer system. A, C, B, E, D. Note that turning the levers in the wrong order will reset the sequence and you will have to start over from the beginning. This appears to be a code and possibly a set of instructions. I should keep them on my person. I may have a use for these yet. Okay. Oh, and the last piece of the painting that we were looking for. Let's go do that. There it is. Okay, rotate the rings to line up the image. Okay, we have another piece of the plate. Okay. This would be the family that lived here. Okay, here is where the next plate goes. Okay. And here's where the lion head goes.
go. That's the top. That's the bottom. Okay, where are we going? Do not run! Though you may not see it, his hold is loosened. When the brothers tore through the barrier, he was wounded. He has used my limbs as though they were his own, gathering more soul. I will no longer do his bidding without struggle. Beware his... Was that the dude that was supposed to help us? Okay, so before I read this, there was a guy, that was the guy that we saw earlier episodes, where is it, we drew him, this guy, this guy, an odd man, and finally these beasts of creatures, this is the guy that was, um, he was like telling us to turn away or something like that, and yeah, he, He's a pretty creepy looking dude, and um, the brothers suspected he wasn't human, but now we have. Um, then there was. This, in the last episode, says, Though I am bound by a spell and the years have passed, I have watched over you as best as I can. I have not forgotten you and will never forget you. There is not a day that passes. That I do not. And the reason why I'm going over this is just to refresh you guys' memory. But also, it's a revelation to me because the brother suspected that guy was evil. And we get this saying that um, they got word that help will appear in the most terrifying of packages. And as you guys can see, that guy looks pretty terrifying. But now we have this, and it says. That man was no evil minion, but a poor soul trapped by the puppet thief's magic. How many years has he languished, languished so? He and the others need my help, but the puppet thief seems determined to stop me. I must find a way to follow him. The time is coming when I will be freed or my time in this place will end. There is fight left in me yet. I carry you in my heart always. Okay, so... That's- it looks like this guy. This looks like the guy. But yeah, it is- The guy does look terrifying. He looks pretty scary. Not gonna lie. But he was trying to help us. Okay, so we have a chain. Okay, sorry about that tangent, but I just wanted to make sure you guys were caught up. Knew what was going on if you missed an episode. I can see something in the water, there must be a way to drain this pool. That's, I think, what the, um, the valves were for. Let's see, is there anything else we can grab? These boards are blocking the way. I don't have anything to break down the boards. But, let's keep going. Love how this is getting deeper. Okay. I should hang something here. A pulley? Yes. Now I need a chain. We have a chain. Okay. There we go. Okay, is so anything else we can look at in here? No. Okay. Let's keep going. These files look familiar. I think I picked up a set of instructions regarding how to use these. Okay, so hidden object scene, we're gonna do this first. There's the last domino. We have coal. Okay, so the vowels. Here in the journal. Okay. It's A, B, C, D, and E. So we have A, C, B, E, D. There we go. I think something drained back there. There we go, another hidden object scene. It's a lot of stuff. Okay, the letter J was on a block. Sledgehammer! 
Okay. I think we can use a sledgehammer on this. Yes, we can. Break it! We save our friend! Cemetery. Lovely. Another letter? Okay. The level of dark magic that has manifested itself around Abershire has made it nearly impossible for us to reach out to you. We stand outside the village and are attempting to break through a magical barrier that stands around it. Should our efforts be successful, we will find you and aid you in your quest. Until then, we will help you in any way we can. Yours, Brothers Grimm. The minion's hat is here, and there are signs of struggle. He battles with his evil master. Is it really possible that this man was one of the children who had disappeared so many years past? I hope the brothers find their way here soon. I may need their assistance. Graveyards. Suffering from a negative reputation, graves are seen as places of darkness, but they are not. Visited by loved ones, they are places of solace. When protection is asked for it is given when protection is asked for it is given freely. I definitely agree with that because at least every time I've been to a cemetery, it hasn't been a negative experience. It hasn't been creepy. But that's just me. There is a worm going through that skull. Footprint. Of a mitt. Okay, we can get that skull out of the oven. Okay. But, oh, the uh, hands dragging, dragging, dragging. What's this? Ring used to fit here. We don't have a ring. Okay, we are in the catacombs. Centerpiece. locked. Okay, we don't have a key for that. Okay. This looks to be dead end. Indention here for something. Nope. Nope. Okay. So let's go back and get that skull out of the oven. The back room. Is it here? Yes. Okay, we have a metal skull. I believe that's what goes in that wall that was in the catacombs. Okay, I wish this game had fast travel, but I can see why it doesn't because, as you guys have seen in previous episodes, there are times we go to different scenes and oh, it's a hidden object scene. There are times we go to different scenes in different areas and we see the um different characters meeting us there and cutscenes happening. If we had fast travel, we would skip the cutscenes. I can barely see that. Grasshoppers in amongst those metal things. Okay, sun emblem. So now we can definitely go back to the catacombs. Okay. I believe this is where the metal skull goes. Ooh, it's like Terminator eyes. Okay, they opened the door for us. And what do we get with the sun? Okay, get another piece of the plate. Now I'm gonna put that plate back so I don't forget. Okay. Here we go. Plate. We're almost finished. Let's get back in here. There he is! I have fought against him, and now am punished. He searches for another to take my place. It will be the end of me. He will return soon. His mind is running, running. I can feel it. My limbs twitch with it. He thinks himself so smart. I have taken something that belongs to him, and he searches for it. Oh, he longs for it. But he never suspected I would be so bold. It is one of the crystals you seek that will be his undoing. Free me, and I will help you. Okay. So, 
we will have to do that in the next episode. This episode has run pretty long. But, I can see how he looks terrifying now that I've gotten a better look at him. So, apparently he has been en enslaved for so long um, that his skin has wood grain, even though he is entirely human. Okay, we got a new journal entry. Okay. What courage to steal the crystal from under his watchful eye. He has taken what I need most in order to free all the children and defeat this evil. I must sort out of a way to free him before the puppet thief returns. Armed with the crystals, I may be able to defeat the puppet thief, but first I will have to free this poor soul from his prison. I have a feeling, just like the puppeteer, um, his fate will not end well, but that's just me. I'll need that potion to free him. Okay. So we need instructions for this. Like I said, I will turn this. I will turn this in uh, the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.